Hi, welcome to Template Monster WooCommerce Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to describe how to export orders from WooCommerce. By default, WooCommerce doesn't have built-in features to export orders, however, this issue can be resolved by the custom plugins. Both free and paid versions are available. Today we are going to show how to export orders with the free versions of the plugins. We will show how you can export orders with the advanced order export for WooCommerce plugin and with the WooCommerce store exported plugin. Alright, let's get it started. First of all, we should access the WordPress dashboard. There we should go to the WooCommerce orders. We can see we will see the list of orders we will need to export. The page is loaded and there we can see a list of orders we should export. Pay attention that WordPress doesn't offer the features to export such orders by default. Now we are going to add the plugin Advanced Order Export for WooCommerce in order to add the Orders Export feature to our website. We should go to the plugin section and click on Add New. There we should search for Advanced Order export for WooCommerce. The search is in progress. There we can see that the plugin advanced order export for WooCommerce was located. Let's install it. The plugin is installing. It may take some time install the plugin. Click on activate when the plugin will be installed. There we go, the plugin is installed. In order to access the export features we should go to the WooCommerce export order. This menu item was added after the plugin installation. Basically, this is our main window with the options available for export. We can see that we can filter the orders by the order date, modification date, pay date, completed date. Uh, we can also see that we can specify the range, the date range of uh, the orders. For example, if we need to export specific products based on uh, the date, based on the specific date. Uh, you may need such data for your own e-commerce system, for other reasons or simply uh, for reviewing your current uh, state of your website and your orders and uh, perform analysis of uh, the data. We should also we can also see the filter by order option. Uh, we can define several options like export refunds, max, mark exported orders and so on. One of the usable option is order statuses. This option allow you, allows you to select specific order status. We are going to use the default options. You may also filter uh, the options by custom fields. For example, you may define the billing address not empty and other options uh, available from this drop down box. Uh, what we can see is the filter by product option. For example, you may need to filter your orders based on specific uh, product. 
basically it will allow you to export data with the orders specifically for particular products you can see a list of available options that will help you to designate the products and select the appropriate option so far we are going to leave the default options you can also filter by customers by the coupons by billing address, by shipping and by other metadata. I will leave you to explore those options because such options should be uh, selected for specific reasons. I am going to show a general process and I am sure you will uh, find out how to use those options once you, you figure out how to uh, export your orders. You can specify the export file name um, by adding such kind of variables and you can also select an export format. I am going to use the CSV uh, format because it's commonly used between the systems and uh, in fact, this is the most used type of uh, product export in uh, e-commerce engines. You can select um, several options related to the CSV format. You can change how the date will show up, the time format. You can change the sort orders by in extending, descending order and you can also check the miscellaneous settings you may find some of the options usable in your specific case ok we have selected the main options I am going to use the default settings with the CSV format and I'm clicking on the preview button in order to check what data will I get in my CSV file. Alright, I see that we have five orders, all of them are available in this list. Pay attention that these columns with the data will be added to your CSV file click on the export if you are ready to get the exported CSV file. It may take some file to generate it and the file will be downloaded once it will be ready. I can access the downloads folder and check it. I'm going to open the Google Sheets and import this file. I am going to uncheck this checkbox and click on import data. Click on open now. The page is loading. We have got our CSV file loaded into the Google Sheets. We can see that all data, all files, uh, all, order, all orders were uh, exported to the CSV file and everything is available right there. So all columns with all data are available. Now you can work with your CSV file and with your data. I'm going to show you another option of uh, exporting the products with this product. You can also go to the orders section. I'm going to leave this page. And use export to the Excel file. You can select all orders or select particular orders and within the bulk actions you should click on export as excel file and click on apply. 
the file is being downloaded. There we go, we have downloaded the file. I'm going to open it. Basically we have the same data. All right, this is how we work with the plugin advanced order export for WooCommerce. I'm going to show you one more plugin just to provide you an uh, alternative uh, and specify one more option for achieving uh, this uh, functionality. I'm going to deactivate the plugin. and add one more plugin. Click on add new. Then we should add the plugin WooCommerce Store Exporter. Let's search this plugin. WordPress has located this plugin. I am going to install it. And activate it. The plugin is activated. We should go to the WooCommerce store export section in order to access the plugin. Uh, first of all, I should mention that this plugin has less features than the plugin we have checked previously. Main settings are available within the settings section. There we can change the export file name, enable achieves, a character encoding, date format, script and out, CSV settings and other options. I'm going back to the overview section and then we should find export others option. The page is loading. Alright, the page is loaded. We can see that a lot of fields are available in this plugin. Some of fields, in fact a lot of fields, uh, require a paid edition of the plugin. You may select uh, appropriate fields you need or simply click on check all and all the fields available in the free version will be selected for you. In fact, I'm recommending you to use this feature. There we go. You can also filter orders by the order date. Pay attention that the only orders by order date filter is available in this uh, free version. Other options require paid edition. I'm going to click on export orders. We can see that the script is running. Alright, I'm going to export the file one more. To import the file one more time. This file was generated as the latest one. Let's open it. We can see that the order data was exported. We can see all the total currency and other options available within this plugin. For some reason order ID is not available, but it was available in the first file 
as I see all the number and all the status. In fact, we can see that the first plugin uh, provides more options even being free. Alright, this is uh, how we can export uh, WooCommerce uh, orders. In this tutorial, we have found out how to export WooCommerce orders, figured out how we can filter the orders before exporting them, and figured out the options plugins have in free editions. Like this video if it was helpful, subscribe in order to get the latest news and tutorials, and simply go to the templatemonster.com website Access the WooCommerce section if it's time to upgrade your website, add e-commerce features to your business, or if you simply would like to check how modern website templates look and work. Thank you. Bye.